What is this? Not now, brother. We've got company. Then you want to keep your insides inside. Yeah. All yours, big guy. Yeah. Your people not receiving visitors? I wouldn't know. They're not my people anymore. <laughs> Bet you're glad old Brock's around to save you. Uh-oh. Yeah! We should probably go get him. Keep your guard up. Send another god to do his dirty work. Thor too busy. We do not serve Odin. <laughs> no? Picked a dangerous place for sightseeing then. All right. No, no. No need for threats, brother. Oh, I know that voice. <laughs> you know, I'd cut off your head, but it seems somebody beat me to it. Aye. Oh, quite observant, brother. <laughs> no, you're no brother of mine. He sold my sister to that prick. We broke it a piece. Oh. Did you know? Where is it? Hmm? And where is my sister? Some dungeon in Asgard? Is she even alive? Answer me! I guess we'll settle for blood. Stop! 
is that? Why do you speak in her voice? It's me, Ingvi. There's no time to explain, just listen. These men are in my service. I'm here to reclaim what's been taken from me. It's too late. You can't undo what's been done. I can. I will. Now let them pass. So... You serve my sister. Put him down. What's with leaving me hanging like that, you crusty egg? Oh, can it, Blubber? Come here. Well, found who I was looking for. Think I'm gonna stay and catch up. Oh, are ya now? Do as you wish. Brother, if you wouldn't mind, I'd have a word with Lord Freya. Uh, bro, what do you think you're doing? Just setting up shop at my fort? Just because I hugged you don't mean I ain't still sore at you squabbling sandpipers. Sorry we got off on the wrong foot there, stranger. We're pretty used to only seeing Aesir in these parts. Don't typically get friendly faces. That... That is a friendly face, right? His name is Kratos, and no, the Aesir on Vanaheim. <laughs> yeah, we've been occupied since... Yeah, I lost count. What is your plan? Still kind of working on it. Mm -hmm. Brother, I think I could be of use here. If my counsel is welcome. Oh, I'll take what I can get. Your mission will go considerably smoother without me in the mix. Come back for me when you're done. Hey, Kratos. As long as you're working for my sister, Carefully, you don't screw up. She's not too big on forgiveness. A bit late for that one, I'm afraid. Now that the distractions are out of the way... I have words, if you would hear them. Speak, then. With anger you feel for your brother. I know it well. You have a brother? His name was Demos. When we were boys, he was taken by two gods obsessed with prophecy. The gods of my homeland seldom left survivors, so by the time I learned he had lived, it was too late for amends. His anger poisoned him against me, but I never stopped loving my brother. You think my anger is irrational? You've known Freya for mere moments, and already you're taking his side? I am not taking his- No. You're just sharing your thoughts on a subject you know nothing about. An ancient!
It's a wonder I've had such difficulty killing you. I know what you're doing. Trying to play on my sympathies in the hope I let you live. I am only trying to help. The mistakes of the past need not be repeated. I don't need to hear about your mistakes. I've made enough of my own, thanks. Everyone is so eager to advise me. As if any of you know me or what I need. The biggest loss in my life is due to you saving me when I specifically told you not to. Well, it was my family. My mess. I know Balder wasn't perfect, but he was mine. I know. You know? You think you can even begin to understand the pain of losing a child? Yes. I do. There was another. Before Atreus? Her name was Calliope. Calliope? What happened? It was long ago. Never mind. I shouldn't have asked. No! Ah! <laughs> 
We need to get to that watchtower. We'll have to go through the valley, this way. I know your son's story. You should know my daughter's. In the service of a cruel god, I was tricked into destroying a village, not knowing my own wife and child were there until their blood stained my hands. I swore revenge. That's... I can't imagine. I paid back their blood a thousand times and burned Olympus to the ground. Yet, the guilt remained. Perhaps you will kill me, Freya. But it will bring you no peace. Perhaps it is not peace I seek. All those times I found you, why'd you refuse to fight me? Every outcome would mean defeat. What does that mean? I have never wished you harm, Freya. You helped us. You saved the trance from the sick. I did not wish to live with killing you any more than I wished to die. I see. You hear that? Whoa! Noken! Ah! And so close to the village! Their song makes their allies invulnerable! Ah! They will not let you pass! Unless you destroy them all! <laughs> <laughs> and feast until the sun rose. It was all so simple. Why did I have to come back here? And be reminded of all this. The Grand Hall. It's in ruin. May Freya never waver. The other half is missing. May she protect us always. An old adage, if you will. Hmm. 
I hear them inside. Get ready to clear them out. It wasn't enough what Odin did to me. He's desecrated every memory I have of home. Be glad you have a home to remember fondly. In Sparta, we were taken from our homes as children and raised in the Agoyi. We marched though we drowned, fought for scraps or starved. Our elders beat us till we could not stand. At night, we made our way home, alone, or were food for wolves. That is how Spartans are made. These plants behave similarly to the scornfuls we found in the foothills of Midgard ages ago. Well, considering how Spartans are made, it's no wonder you turned out as you did. Your fate was sealed from the start. Fate can be overcome. I used to think so. When the Norns told me of my son's fate, I thought I could change it. You know well how that worked out. The Norns. The fates of these lands. That's right. You defy prophecy at your own peril. <laughs> Hmm. 
Atreus would agree with you about prophecy. He rushes blindly to a fate the giants foretold. He disappears for two days, trying to prove he is their champion, fabled to fight at Ragnarok. What? I know all the Ragnarok prophecies. There's no champion of the giants. It is one Gror concealed. Because of this champion, the realms are saved at Ragnarok. Only Asgard falls, and Odin with it. So all this time, Odin's obsession with every detail of Ragnarok, he's been missing a crucial piece. Huh. Well done, Groa. Atreus will not be a pawn of prophecy. You still stand against fate, even with victory foretold. I will not march my son to war. He is no Spartan. I would keep it that way. You would speak to me of protecting your child? Is my tragedy not enough of a lesson? Fighting fate is a waste of the precious time we're given to spend with them. <laughs> you never know when someone will come along and cut it short. <gasps> You can probably use those islands to get a better angle on the torch, no? How can you, of anyone alive, be squeamish about war? I have seen enough war to know the cost. And I don't. After the price I paid to end one? Look around you, right? See what happens when you don't fight a true evil. Very good.